Are you contagious? Now, I know this is the cold and flu season, but I'm not talking about any germs or viruses. I'm talking about faith. Is your faith contagious? Hi, I'm Father James Kubicki, and that question came to mind today because it's the feast of Saints Timothy and Titus, two of St. Paul's co-workers and bishops. Yesterday, we celebrated St. Paul's conversion, and today, we're celebrating what could be called the ripple effect of that conversion. Paul didn't keep the good news that converted him to himself. He shared it with others, including Timothy and Titus, to whom he wrote three of his letters. One of my favorite passages of St. Paul comes from his first letter to Timothy, and it goes like this. This saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of these I am the foremost. But for that reason I was mercifully treated, so that in me, as the foremost, Christ Jesus might display all his patience as an example for those who would come to believe in him for everlasting life. In other words, what Paul's saying here is that if he, someone who hated Christianity and persecuted Christians could be saved, anyone could be. And so Paul set out and sent Timothy and Titus as well to tell this good news to as many people as possible. Filled with joy, Paul couldn't keep the good news to himself. It had to spread, and it did. So again, what about you? Is your faith in Jesus Christ contagious? Do you have a peace and joy that makes others wonder what's your secret? This is one secret that you shouldn't keep to yourself.